Welcome team, Grant Hagen here with Dronapoy, joined by Gary Chapman uh, here at Turner. Really excited to be able to be talking about uh, ground capture within Dronapoy. This has been a huge feature that a lot of our customers have been getting a lot of value out of, and Gary was gonna talk through just what it looks like, uh, why Dronapoy is doing it, and how we use it. And so Gary, would love to kind of get your feedback on, on yeah, what this looks like at Turner. Yeah, thanks Grant. Uh, really, it could be more simple, right? It's, it's a camera. Um, Typically, we, we, you know, we use a 360 camera that's attached to a hard hat, uh, but it doesn't have to be a 360 camera, right? It can be uh, everything from a cell phone, iPad. Um, of course, it could be obviously a drone, um, but it doesn't have to be. And that's what uh, I want to kind of share a few examples today of showing, it, you know, whether it's drone data or data from the ground, it's all really relevant in one single platform. And I think just to kind of give like a high level of how this works. So uh, obviously, Drone Deploy has been known from capturing a lot of imagery from the air, but uh, have had a lot of feedback of how do we take that to the ground and doing different standalone captures or 360 panoramas or a walkthrough. Uh, Gary, kind of walk us through. So it's a different app within Drone Deploy that you can do this and capture from the ground. What, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so it's basically five steps, right? These, these are just literally images from my cell phone on one of our local projects here in, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, on the left side, you see all your projects. You pick one or pick the one that you're uh, wanting to capture that data on. Um, and like you mentioned, the, the middle three are, um, you have the option to do just a simple cell phone image, right? Um, uh, connect the 360 camera and do um, just a single high resolution, uh, single uh, panorama image. Um, or you can do a 360 walk. Uh, that, that's kind of been the most popular that it shows the biggest value just because it's so easy to do and it captures such a huge area. And then finally, the far right image, you just take the, um, once it's done, once you're done doing your job site walk or creating your capture, um, you just tell it where it's at on the map, right? Whether it's a satellite imagery, drone map, a 2D floor plan, a lot, uh, a lot of different options of how you uh, choose where that image goes. So let's dive into like what that actually looks like. So obviously we're looking at a map that was created from a drone and then we have a ground walkthrough that was taken from the ground. Give us kind of a lay of the land of what we're looking at here. Yeah, so we'll look at two examples. Uh, one is you know how we use walkthrough with a drone map. And the other one is interior if we don't use a drone at all. Um, so this, this first example is, is keeping it really simple. And um, that blue line that you see there, that's, that's the path of the, the person that walked the job site. Um, this example was one of our project engineers that just walked the job site, does their daily walk. Um, and then they can take that, upload it to Drone Deploy through the app. And it, it gives you a lot of different options to view it. Um, in this example, uh, you're looking at two different dates, comparing it to each other, uh, whether it was a month ago, a year ago, um, or you know, yesterday versus today. Um, a lot of different ways you can look at it and view it and, and analyze it. Um, and this is just an easy example of what that looks like on the screen. I think we often get asked uh, at Drone Deploy, uh, hey, we're on the inside. Uh, how can I use your tool? Uh, I love showcasing some of the interior stuff as well because uh, projects don't just start when the building or stop when the building goes up. And so down at the bottom, if you haven't seen this, there's three really easy buttons. You have your map, your model view, and then finally the floor plan view, which Gary, what are we looking at here with those walks that are on that? Yeah, like I mentioned previously, uh, we don't even have to have aerial drone data to, to, be, able, to be able to upload a walkthrough. Um, it, it's just taking a floor plan, uploading it, and then uh, uh, literally walking the job site um, and then um, and hitting upload to the, the floor plan instead of the the aerial imagery and what's the most important thing uh, when, when you do these types of walkthroughs interior is just walking the same path uh, trying not to deviate you know too much from um, from one data capture to the other uh, because if you can do virtually the same general path you can really use tools like this to analyze uh, and to kind of see you know what's uh, above your head in the ceiling what's in the wall um, a lot of things that are hidden behind walls of course that uh, they would love to have a great way uh, that's, that's easy and reliable to know what's behind there and, uh, the 360 walks uh, does that. It's probably the biggest value that we have for our projects uh, this year is, is just being able to document what's behind the wall, what's in front of the wall, and then hand that over to our client at the end totally. of the job. I think uh, those lines look pretty long, those blue lines. And so uh, I'm sure you guys are thinking about how to make that even more efficient and automating that. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Yeah, this is just uh, an exciting feature that we're, we're doing more and more um, on projects this year where uh, we're taking spot the dog, right? And instead of walking those squiggly blue lines that you just uh, kind of mentioned before, uh, we're just making those autonomous um, and programming spot to do those walks for us. Uh, still utilizing the same sensors, the same hardware, the same cameras, the same apps. Uh, that's just integrated to uh, a pathless spot and it, it brings all that data 
um, every day back to um, a platform that we have that we can uh, share, view, and analyze the um, what the site looks like throughout the job. I think the ex- exciting part about this, uh, obviously on the drone side of it and doing uh, comparisons and overlays with design documents, we want to obviously have that same experience inside the building. And so kind of walk through what we're looking at here. Yeah, this is a feature that's, that we're excited to integrate as well uh, this year. Um, basically taking our BIM models that we have for uh, overhead MEP coordination, all, of, all the things that we do inside of BIM and just combining that with the same walkthrough, right, that we captured, whether it was from, you know, spot the dog or whether it was from uh, an aerial drone or whether it was from, you know, hard hat with a camera on it. Uh, integrating that back into our BIM models is something that, that we're excited to, uh, to utilize this year as well. I think uh, just to kind of wrap up, having a holistic solution uh, where everything is in the same place obviously brings a ton of value and efficiency. Uh, Gary, anything you want to add here just to kind of showcase everything on the same platform, uh, the, what we're looking at? It's inside the building. It's outside the building. It's before we mobilize. It's during construction. Um, it's a closeout when we're done with something from the air, from the ground, whether it's you know, cell phone imagery, whether it's high resolution uh, 4K drone video, um, whether it's, you know, 2D ortho mosaic maps that we're creating um, of the site, it's just all in one place. And that's that's been the biggest difference maker for us uh, utilizing through CC walkthrough with you guys. It's, it's just having that uh, easily shared and documented and stored um, from whichever perspective it comes from. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys joining with us today to learn a little bit more about some of these features within Drone Deploy that Again, ultimately, it will drive some efficiency of just having a single source of truth and a single platform uh, to uh, house all this stuff. And so, Gary, thanks for walking us through it. It's really fun to see an actual project, how it's being used, and just the efficiency you guys are uh, experiencing from it. So, Yep, great. Thank you, Grant. Thanks.